Hey, it's Corinne, your coach with Flow to Grow Fitness. So glad you clicked on this video because today you're going to learn how to hip thrust. What is the hip thrust? How can I do the hip thrust? And then stay around because at the end of the video, I'm giving a bonus tip on common mistakes I see and how you can improve that. I want you to hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already so you don't miss any videos. I am releasing two each week on Mondays and Wednesdays. This is the perfect beginner's guide to strength training. And I'm here to bring that to you. I'm gonna show you a home version and a gym version. So there's no excuses. Stay tuned and put in that action for that. Uh, so you're probably wondering, okay, the hip thrust, what muscles do they actually work? So of course, we're going to work the glutes, we're going to work the hamstrings, and then you're going to work the core. There's a lot going on in that hip thrust. You're going to start by doing this proper warm-up. The goal of this warm-up is to get your hips in full extension. If you skip your warm-up, you will not have an effective workout. You must first get your body warm and your heart rate up to prevent injury. And then you must secondly activate your muscles so you can put the mind to the muscle, make that connection, and tell your body what you're doing. If you skip it, it will not work. It will literally be an ineffective workout. Don't do that. Get a good workout, okay? And I'm gonna show you a real quick warm up, especially if you're short on time, this is gonna be really good. We're going to do a standing hip extension, which is the top part of the hip thrust, actually. So, we're gonna stand here, Watch my glutes and watch my core. This is me relaxed. I'm gonna inhale first. On that exhale, I'm going to tuck my pelvis in, pull my core into my spine, hold and squeeze. I'm flexing, tightening, and squeezing my glutes and same with my core really hard. I'm gonna go for about 20 reps. Holding for about three seconds. Before I release. Now, if you can only do about 10 of these, five of these, do as many as you can until you feel your glutes burning and until you feel your core engaged, because this is actually going to be the position you're in at the very top of the hip thrust. So it's very important you get the form down and it's very important you activate your muscles. You're learning a lot today. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do the hip thrust in a home setting. So first thing you need is a chair. It's gonna be about three to four feet up in the ground. Make sure this chair is stable. If you need to push it against a wall, do so. Especially if you're a beginner, I really recommend that. Um, a couch works great, a bench works great, any sort of platform for you to comfortably lay your upper back and shoulder blades on. Upper back and shoulder blades resting at the top, just like that. You want to achieve a flat line from your knees. So if the chair is too low, it's not going to be right. And if the chair is too high, it's going to create that slant. So make sure that when you're up, you have a nice straight line. And then your setup. Your chin is tucked forward. Like there's a lemon under your chin. You don't want to be too close and you don't want to be too high. You want to engage your look forward. Eyes are ahead of you. So my feet are down and they're slightly pointed to the sides. I'm going to take a deep breath in. I'm going to lower as much as I can, not all the way to the floor though, and then pushing through my heels, I'm going to go to the top and hold and squeeze. I'm gonna inhale when I come down, and I'm gonna exhale when I come up. Tempo, three seconds down, one second up, one second pause, three seconds down. One second up, and one second pause. You're going to do this for at least 16 to 20 reps on your first round. If you have weight, you'll place the weight right here, right over your pubic bone, and you'll hold it. So you can either do no weight, a ton of reps, or you can do weight and less reps. It's really up to you, and it's really up to what you have. But as you can see, I'm able to hit thrust all on my own at home. Are you ready for the gym setup? Let's go. This is a pad. Use a yoga mat if you don't have protection or if it's a lightweight, you'll be okay. 
Safely load the weight from the floor up. As you set yourself up, take caution and use your hands and your balance. Back and shoulders up first. Knees are right over the heels and my feet are hip width apart. I'm pushing through my heels, keeping tension in my heels as I lower myself down. Three, two, one. One second hold up. As I push up, I am squeezing through my glutes. I am keeping my chin tucked and I am keeping my knees out at the top. Remember, your pelvis is tucking in at the top to reach that full hip extension just like we did in the warm up. Fun fact Did you know that the glutes are actually the largest muscle in your body? If you train them properly, you'll lift heavier, jump higher, and sprint faster. Now let's finally go over some common mistakes. Feet are out too far, not under the knees. The head is on the bench instead of the back and shoulder. And your chin is not tucked. It is hitting the rib cage. Make sure you really keep that distance from your chest and your chin. All right, so we made it to the end of the video. I'm gonna ask if you could just please give this video a like and a comment. I want you to comment below right now. What questions do you have about setting up your workout routine or the hip thrust? I am here to answer those and make sure that we include the glutes in your workout routine at least twice a week. Track your progress in your workout journal and that's you marking down your reps, marking down your weight, and marking down your RPEs. If you don't know what that is, make sure you tune into the video next Monday because that's going to explain how you're taking data and what that data is. I can't wait to see how your thrusts go. And as a service to you, tag me, Flow to Grow Fitness, on Instagram of you doing your hip thrust. And I will personally comment on it and give you my expertise. Now don't forget, I'm releasing two new videos every Monday and Wednesday, so stay tuned, subscribe, follow along so you can do your fitness journey on your own. Much love and positive vibes. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye.